It is not a round ball roundup night, but it's about to feel like it. Big night of sectional basketball semifinals, and we begin with unbeaten Greece Athena, the one seed at Class AA. They were facing Penfield. It's camera wizardry right there. Trojans down six in the third. Z Johnson trying to spark a rally. That'll help. But the Patriots holding strong in the fourth quarter. Trevor Hofer, one-handed tip in for two of his game high, 29. So Athena down seven, three minutes to play. Number one seed on the ropes. No problem, they get hot. Deshaun Folks, three-pointer to cut the lead to four. Next possession, Isaiah Reeves takes aim. We got a one-point game with 2.30 to play. Next time down the floor, more Athena bombing. Folks, that gave the Trojans the lead. They would not give it up. Athena still unbeaten, still alive. They win 61-57. The other semifinal, Victor and Arondequate, last year's state AA champ and the Class A runner-up. Nick Leonard and the Blue Devils putting on a clinic tonight. No look passes to Cameron Ryan, then Owen Dake, then Colin Kubrick. He made less looks than Adam Chodak with his scripts before his show. Victor up 18 late in the third. IQ just trying for something to hang around. Quinn Van Kerkove gives them just that, a little buzzer beater. He had 23, those three the prettiest. Blue Devils, though, they were firing on all cylinders. Griffin Hopkins from the corner. Victor wins 86-56, and they will set up a doozy with Athena in the final. Girls Class A tonight. Number one, Palmac with all they can handle against Aquinas. AQ big lead in the fourth. But here come the Raiders. Georgia Worth, Steele, and the bucket. A little later, it's Taryn Goodness inside. Palmac runs off six in a row. But the Irish, they can D up to Ajaya Orr. The steal, the bucket, and the foul. Aquinas rolls tonight over the one seed, 59 to 33. The other Class A game, Sutherland and Newark. Fourth quarter, Knights in control. Freshman Petra Hunt, a little step back and fire. Sutherland led by 13. Newark hung around, though. Natalie Buck just kind of casually strolls out to the three-point line, and yeah, well, buckets. At the other end, though, Lucy Bush to Eden Lewis. That's 100% a pass. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Knights, they're off to the finals, 56-43 the final. RH fans, Class AAA, they were dancing early, watching the number one seed, but nail-biting late. We go right to the end. Top-seeded RH, one-point lead on Arcadia Olympia. Ten seconds left. Amy Turner puts Arcadia Olympia in front. Two-point game, three seconds to go. RH from half court for the win. No, very close, but it is Greece moving on to the finals. They'll get Fairport in the championship game after a dramatic 49-47 win. Heading back to the boys' side, C1 semifinals between Lions and Gananda. Second quarter, Blue Panthers down 15. Cooper Grassel, the freshman, three of his game high 19, cuts into the lead a bit. But the Lions have 19 bricks for a reason. J.J. Johnson just bullying guys down low. He had 18 and 11. Mike Briggs, how about this stat line? 10 points, 10 assists, 7 rebounds, 6 steals. No partridge in a pear tree. You can't have that in basketball. But it is Lions with the easy win. In the other semi, East Rochester taking on Pembroke. Everybody sacrificing life and limb to come out on top. Bombers, double digits down in the second, but Landon Wolschlager trying to kickstart ER with the three. However, the Dragons just controlled this one start to finish. Avery Ferreira, the trade ball, Tyson Totten, the assist. Pembroke, the win, 54 to 36.